Almost time. We can handle this. Final battle lies ahead. Now, it's time to engage. Let's go. One last battle and the war will be over. The others fought hard to clear a path for us. We can't let them down. You're here at your end. This place will be your tomb. Move in. I'll remain by your side. I'll do my best. of defeating me, not even with your emblem. He's within reach now. We can strike. To die here was ever your destiny. The rings are mine. Here until the end.
The time has come. Now, as one, emblem, engage! We are now connected and can unleash a powerful attack together. Fate has brought us here. Thanks to you, this world is saved, and my work here is complete. Know that I will always be with you, and that we will stand together again, as we did this day. If ever we cross paths again, I hope you will remember me. Indeed, that you will remember all of us who took up arms to fight by your side, the Twelve Emblems. Calm down, calm down, you two. What's all of this ruckus about? Uh -huh. Divine Dragon. It's a miracle. An utter miracle. The Divine One, awake at long last. That I might live to see you standing before me. What an honor. Um, not to be rude, but... Who are you? Ah, oh, apologies. I lost myself for a moment there. My name is Vander. I am the 32nd steward of the dragon. Hello, Sir Vander. Oh, my divine one. There is no need to address me as such. Simply Vander will do. See? I told you the divine dragon was awake. Yeah, we were telling the truth. You two. I don't believe I got your names. Oh, sorry. We were so excited, we forgot to introduce ourselves. We're the 33rd Stewards of the Dragon. My name's Clan. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Fram. We're twins. We've been waiting forever for you to wake up. 
As stewards of the dragon, our mission is to protect and provide for you. Generation after generation of our predecessors waited for you to rise from your slumber. I'll admit, I am astonished to see it has finally happened. You see, a thousand years have passed since the first steward took their post. A thousand years? That's how long I've been asleep? Indeed. Your mother, Lumera, the Divine Dragon Monarch, has long awaited this day. Finally, you, a Divine Dragon yourself, have awakened. This surely signifies great things. Slow down. This monarch you mentioned, she's my mother? And I'm a divine dragon, you called it? Oh, dear. Is your memory hazy, divine one? I know my name, but that's about it. You can't remember anything else? Maybe you're just feeling groggy because of all that sleep. But I don't even know who I am. Fret not. Such lapses in memory are to be expected after sleeping for so long. If I may, you are a divine dragon, a member of a royal family of dragons revered as deities. Queen Lumera, the divine dragon monarch, rules over the holy land of Lethos. In the war a thousand years ago, she defeated and imprisoned the wicked fell dragon. You, divine one, are her only child. The war? The fell dragon? I feel like I can almost remember, but... Please, do not trouble yourself trying to bring it all back at once. Your memories will return in time. You are a being of immense power. A deity, no less. I have heard many a tale of your kindness, nobility, and bravery. Your unflinching heroism. That's a lot to live up to. For now, let us head to Lethos Castle. Queen Lumera will be thrilled to see you. Perhaps the reunion will help stir your memories. I hope so. Okay then, onward and downward. To Lethos Castle! All this time, I've been sleeping in the sky? You have, yes. The place where you slumbered is known as the Somniel, a fortress built upon an airborne island to ensure your safety. It is perhaps the most secure place in all of Elios. Only a select few can set foot there. I see. And you three live there with me? Yep. As stewards, we spend our time caring for you and managing things around the Somniel. It's a sacred place, so we work as hard as we can to keep it shipshape. Royal family members visit us all the time. Well, visit you, really. The Prince and Princess of Firenay, a deeply religious country, visit especially often. They pray next to you, like this. Then they just talk for a while, like they're chatting to a friend. I see. Thanks for filling me in, Fram. You too, clan. <laughs> the Divine One said our names and thanked us! I think I'm going to faint. Unless I already did. Am I dreaming? Need I remind you that you are in the presence of the Divine Dragon? How many times must I tell you to behave in a manner befitting your station? Divine One, please, forgive this embarrassing breach of decorum. Breach of decorum? <laughs> I'm actually enjoying their enthusiasm. <laughs> You're just as kind-hearted as I always imagined. Oh, look! There it is! Lethos Castle. The... Divine Dragon Monarch is there, you said? Yes. I suppose a thousand years have passed since you've been home. Don't worry. We'll be right there with you. You can hold my hand if you like. Thank you. Hmm? How long have I been wearing this ring? Since before I fell asleep? That blue stone... It reminds me of something. Huh? What are those horrible things? Vander, are creatures like that common around here? They're not. I've never seen them. Nor have I heard of such monsters appearing in Lethos before. This is a land of peace. 
Understood. Well? Shall we fight them? As you wish, Divine One. You whose bravery knows no equal. No, let's run. Huh? We haven't the slightest idea who they are, and we don't know how they came to be here. Also, they worry me for some reason. So, we run! I, uh, well, did the Divine Dragon really command me to retreat? Okay, get to safety! We'll keep them distracted for you! <laughs> what the? Come back! Come back this instant! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, this isn't looking good! Clan! Fram! Hold on! We shall come to you! 